Hi everyone, I am currently live on webcam with this very inspirational lady, Victoria Sexton in Plymouth, because I wanted to interview her and find out about her business, about what she's been doing, because in six months, just six months, she's achieved some phenomenal things. So Vicky, I know that when you, um, when we first met, you were a retail manager. Just tell us a little bit about that and kind of what life was like as a retail manager. Okay, so, um, hi everyone. Um, it was really hard work. Um, I worked so, so hard and I was working 60 hours a week, sometimes even 70, just to get the job done, being told what I was worth. Um, feeling like I had so much more to give, but didn't know in what area of my life to give it in. Missing out on things with my friends because of the hours I was working. My friends stopped asking me if I wanted to go out. Missing out on things with my family. Um, I just got on that treadmill, I suppose, of, of waking up every morning, going to work, coming home, eating, sleeping, doing it all over again the next day. Yeah. Um, I was bored. I wanted to be able to get up in the morning and go out and do whatever it was I wanted to do, whatever that might be, just sort of live every day as we're told we should live every day as if it's our last. And I just really feel like I, w I wasn't able to do that because I was just working too much. And when you came across the forever living opportunity and then found me, what were your initial thoughts? Um, I was really sceptical. I thought, what a load of rubbish, <laughs> um, if I'm completely honest. Um, I didn't I didn't get it. I didn't understand. It looked too good to be true. And I think we're taught as we grow up that if something looks too good to be true, it probably is. Mm. So that's that's where my mindset was. Um, yeah, I just didn't believe it. But something must have made you hopeful that it could give you what you want and you got started anyway. And that was back in May, wasn't it? So six months ago. And your first goal in business. So when we sat down and I said, right, Vicky, what do you want to achieve? What did you say? Can you remember? I said I wanted to leave my job. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to be free. <laughs> and you were working how many hours a week, did you say? Oh, sometimes seven, eight. It was ridiculous. And you were looking to replace your income working part-time from home. How much were you looking to replace? So that's 70 hour a week. What was it paying you, if you don't mind me asking? No, I thought, obviously, I was salaried, so I was only actually getting paid for 40. So um, I was getting paid £1,200 a month. So £1,200 a month, 70 hour a week, exhausted, missing out on time, fed up. Did you really believe, though, that you could earn that working part time from home from your laptop? No, never. <laughs> It, it looked really appealing and it looked really good, but I, I never thought it was going to happen for me. And six months in, what happened last month, Vicky? I actually left my job. <laughs> you left the job, and how much did you earn last month? Uh, it'll be £1,400. So more than you were selling your soul for in retail. And how does that feel, seriously? How do you feel? Um whole mixture of emotions to be honest I've, obviously I'm happy I'm ecstatic I'm really pleased that my business is going the way that it's going um and that I've achieved what I've achieved but at the same time I feel I feel quite sad that it you know I was working I worked nearly 11 years in retail and I was I was only ever worth that and I just I feel like now I can I suppose fulfill what I want to do and I can feel successful when I've, I've built it myself so I feel proud good for you so you I guess what you're saying is you only regret is that you didn't start sooner <laughs> absolutely <laughs> and I know that when I first looked at the forever opportunity I was worried and scared that I couldn't do it and I know you felt the same do you need to be talented do you need to be special no not at all not at all. I think there are skills that you need, but they're skills that can be learnt. Um, I suppose the one thing is not been easy, so you've got to be willing to work hard and be willing to learn. Those are my, the two things that I would say 
you have to be hard working and willing to learn and driven as well you need to want something enough for yourself to be able to do whatever it takes to do it so if you're looking for someone to coach and mentor because you're now a mentor in your own right out of your job teaching other people to achieve what you have and I know that you're looking for a couple of people at the moment so are they the three things that you're really looking for in someone or is there anything else will you mentor anyone or do they need to be a certain type of person you do need to be a certain type of person and I think those are the first three things I would say um but you also have to be be prepared that it's a bit of an emotional roller coaster so you do need to be quite resilient I suppose um and have that I don't know if this is a word <laughs> bounce back ability um <laughs> we're like able to bounce back from anything and think that you know the reason that you're working for it is is worth more than the, the tough days I suppose because there are tough days but it's so worth it um I, I want people that want more for their life so want what's similar to me I suppose want to be able to live exactly how they want to live um, and not be told by somebody else when they can have their holiday and constantly on constantly be on countdown until when that might be or for the next day off like you now who gets the first Christmas at home not in retail <laughs> Well, have a wonderful Christmas, Vicky. Thank you for sharing and giving us a bit of insight into your life. Speak to you soon.